Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up your Gravitec FC series plotter from Factory Defaults to cut multiple films. Turn the plotter on over here, make sure it's connected and all. Push the power button over here. Plotter's going to turn on. First thing you're going to see is condition one. It's going to have all the settings I've like previously done ready to go. Um, all Gravitec plotters are, are set up from the factory to cut window tint by default for condition one, I believe. If they are not, Simply go through, go through it like so. First thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and load the plotter. So then we go back here, pull the foam up, feed up and through, just like so. Make sure that, so this is a 30 inch roll, it's very, very close to the edges, so you're gonna make sure that the pinch rollers are on top of the, where the grit rollers are set here. As you can see, match up the little black line right there where, where the little wheel is gonna be on there, just barely. Very important to note also that on all Graptech plotters, all written, all pinch rollers have to be above a grit roller. They don't have to be latched down altogether, but they have to be at least above, floating above a grit roller of some kind. As you can see here, on all of these, all the way across. Notice the black stripe corresponds with where the grit roller is below. So now that we have that all specified and taken care of, ready to go. So we lift the back lever back here up into place to lock it down, lock each, each of the outside levers down. Pinch rollers into place like so. Again, bear in mind that the middle one is still floating upwards. It's not latched down, it's just floating above the grit roller itself. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over here to the plotter screen and you're gonna see it's gonna ask you to select roll one rear set or roll two rear set or three sheet. Um, by default, you're always gonna wanna go with, go with roll one rear set unless we say otherwise. So we're gonna go ahead and press one to specify roll one rear set. Plotter's gonna do its thing. It's gonna go across, measure the width of the material, come back to the right hand side. Now we're ready to go and set up and ready to go in place here. At this point, and that says, it says condition one, number one. It's gonna say speed at 25, force at 14 up in here. Now, let's say you wanna go ahead and change that. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and press condition. Now right now it says condition one, CB09U. That right there is the is graphics code for that you're using a blade. You have many different, different tools you can use as well. We're not gonna get into that today. All you need to know is that you need to use CB09U plus zero. That's your code for using the blade. Tool's been set, we're good. Speed right here, it says currently you're at 25 centimeters per second. That's good. Force currently uh, 14 right now. That's fine. To change those individually, so we have three right here to, for speed, go into three. Now, it's gonna bring you up some different options here. Notice how number one right now is currently set up for 25 in the speed. Condition number up here, and speed for each corresponding condition down here below. So you wanna bring it up a little bit. Press, some, press the up arrow and go up by fives. Whatever you want it to go to, keep pressing however high you want it to go to. Just like I said before, for the uh, chance you're gonna wanna go ahead and do on the speed at 25. So go ahead and press enter. Boom, that's locked in place, ready to go. So, again, force, the, press the number four, go into it. For each condition up here, you have those selected up here. And you have your four settings for each one of those down below for each, each corresponding condition. To change it, simply, once again, toggle it up or down with the arrow key, whatever you want it to be. You want it to be at 12, that's fine. 14 in this case is what it needs to be at. And press enter to lock it in. Boom, you're set. That's going from that condition one. Now, toggle over to condition two, press enter, and then right now it's gonna, it's gonna bring up your condition options here. You can press any number you want to possibly. For zero, you press reset, or for each one of these, you press the, uh, the corresponding arrow key for it. In this case, we're gonna go to condition two, so we're gonna press condition two. Notice how it moves over to that one. Let release it, and there you go. Now we're on condition two. What we're gonna go ahead and do is just press three on the speed. It's set to it already. In case you wanna go up down, you can like so. Press enter to lock it in. Just like so, we're good. Four to 28. Press four. I'll go up or down as you please. Press enter. You're good. To so go back to our main screen again, press condition. Back to condition two again, and we're ready to go. This one we can move our, not our head around if we need to, any way we please. And we are ready to go at this point. So again, let's switch back to condition one for tint. Press one, enter and one. Let go. Condition one, number one. And with our speed setting at 25 and force at 14, that's what we want. And that's how you set up your Graptic FC series plotter from the factory settings to cut window tint paint protection.